Hello, welcome to evening prayer for Thursday. Now, this is a very important day because it's the day on which we remember William Wilberforce, Alauda, Equiano and Thomas Clarkson, the anti-slavery campaigners, who did such an amazing job in combating the deep evil of the slave trade. Of course, we repent that it ever happened, but we give grateful thanks to God that there were evangelicals prepared to trust more in the word of God than the economics of society. Many people drew back from the abolition of the slave trade because of the economic hit that the nation would take. We repent of those attitudes. We recognise that the love of money can be at the root of all kinds of evil. We thank God that there are people prepared to trust more in God's word in scripture than in the power of the money in their pockets. And so today we start with Psalm, 100, Psalm 18 beginning at verse 31. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is trusted in the fire. He is a shield to all who trust in him. For who is God but the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? It is God who girds me about with strength and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like hind's feet so that I tread surely on the heights. He teaches my hands to fight and my arms to bend a bow of bronze. You have given me the shield of your salvation. Your right hand upholds me and your grace has made me great. You enlarge my strides beneath me, yet my feet do not slide. I will pursue my enemies and overtake them, nor turn again until I have destroyed them. You have girded me with strength of the battle. You will cast down my enemies under me. You will deliver me from the strife of the peoples. You will make me the head of the nations. A people I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear me, they shall obey me. Strangers will humble themselves before me. The Lord lives and blessed be my rock. Praised be the God of my salvation. Even the God who vindicates me and subdues the peoples under me. You that deliver me from the met my enemies... You will set me up above my foes. From the violent you will deliver me. Therefore will I give you thanks, O Lord, among the nations, and sing praises to your name, to the one who gives great victory to his king and shows faithful love to his anointed, to David and his seed forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, the final chapter, chapter 13. This is the third time I am coming to you. Any charge must be sustained by the evidence of two or three witnesses. I warned those who sinned previously and all the others, and I warn them now, while absent, as I did when present on my second visit, that if I come again, I will not be lenient, since you desire proof that Christ is speaking in me. He is not weak in dealing with you, but is powerful in you. For he was crucified in weakness, but lives by the power of God. For we are weak in him, but in dealing with you, we will live with him by the power of God. Examine yourselves to see whether you are living in the faith. 
Test yourselves. Do you not realise that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless indeed you fail to pass the test. I hope you will find out that we have not failed. But pray to God that you may not do anything wrong, not that we may appear to have passed the test, but that you may do what is right, though we may seem to have failed. For we cannot do anything against the truth, but only for the truth. For we rejoice when we are weak and you are strong. This is what we pray for, that you may become perfect. So I write these things while I'm away from you, so that when I come, I may not be, have to be severe in using the authority that the Lord has given me for building up and not for tearing down. Finally, brothers and sisters, farewell. Put things in order. Listen to my appeal. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He's filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. We pray for the United Nations that it may be an effective instrument of peace in the world. For the World Health Organization that it may be an effective instrument of health in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of the nations, today, especially Russia, China, and the United States and the European Union, that they may be given knowledge, wisdom and understanding in pursuit of the good of all their peoples, so that they may live in peace within their frontiers and with other nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for peoples displaced by war or persecution or poverty, that they may be given courage and find a hope, a welcome and a future. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember those who are especially on our hearts and minds this day. Heal the sick. Bring peace to the afflicted. Mend broken hearts and relationships. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, move in Redditch and Bromsgrove in such a way that this area will bring you renown, joy, praise and honour before all nations on earth that hear of all the good things you do for it. And they will be in awe and tremble at the abundant prosperity and peace you provide for it. Lord, have mercy upon us. Build your church. 
and bless your people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, our Deliverer, who sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to set your people free from the slavery of sin. Grant that as your servants, William Wilberforce, Olauda Equiano and Thomas Clarkson, toiled against the sin of slavery, so we may bring compassion to all and work for the freedom of all the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the peace of Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you from the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing to your holy place of prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Saviour and our friend, in the power and under the guiding hand of the Holy Spirit, to the glory of God the Father. Amen.